hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm. It's just me today, Dash, uh, here for some uh, continuing the October spook e stuff. I want to play Rule of Rose again. I'm really, really, I really, really like Rule of Rose. Uh, this game is really sweet, but um, we already beat it. However, I did not get the true ending on it. I don't think it appears as if the ending was not correct. It was n I didn't do everything right. It would seem. Uh, and then yeah, somebody uh, in chat confirmed that this game has a bad ending and a true ending. So I think we should play through the game again, and we should try to get the true ending. Uh, but it's going to be a lot less spooky this time because, um, you know. There we go. Uh, let me just move myself here a little bit. Get into single player mode here. Since we don't have flex around. Ah. Uh, boy, my hair is going to be all over this mic, isn't it? Since it's not right in the middle. Doo -doo -doo. I forgot how loud this is going to be, so let's find out. How loud is the PS3 on a PS1 game? Eh, eh, we're... Let's go. Oh my gosh, why can't I skip this? pretty loud. Okay. Alright, so remember uh, all about turn this down. Um, let's at least give that one notch up and then go new game. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl, her friend, the princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly, and the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Jennifer, Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Read the story. Please, read the story. What happens next? What's this? I think I should be paying more attention to the timing on this one. So this is March. Because there was some stuff that was told out of order. I think. Alright, The Little Princess. This is the story that was just read to us. And it has a lot of extra pages, this one.
All right. So suddenly, the girl was all alone. Let's go. And so the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl Jennifer had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. So, I don't know how to get the true ending. Uh, we are going to attempt to figure that out here. Bus stop, Rose Garden Orphanage. But what if I just keep going this way? It just loops, okay. Now, when I was playing this game before, I was in spooky mode with the lights off, but uh, this time it's fine, and I just have the lights on. However, because this game is kind of dark, it does make it a little tough to see, because I just see like this shade of green reflection on the TV screen, that, and myself, too. All right. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and beckoned her to come. Yeah, yeah. Dying Camel, thank you so much for that host. Thank you for the 11 gray triangles also. All right, you, perfect timing. Uh, we're starting the game over. I already beat it, so we beat this game the other day, but I am starting over because I appeared to have gotten a bad ending. And so now we have started a new game just three minutes ago. All that has happened is that we were on a bus a little boy told us to read this story to him. Then the bus stopped and dumped us off in the middle of nowhere and ran away. And the book just describes us as a girl whose parents just died and we're on our way to an orphanage. You wanna play this? I really like this game. It's. There's a couple concerning... Gosh, okay, it's just the beginning of this game is really dark. Um, all right. Old padlock on the door. However, it is not locked. I really, really like this game. The, you know, it's not perfect. But uh, it's totally my kind of thing. But this time, we're gonna, we are going to get the true ending. I, th I think I can do it. Boarding pass. All right. I was just thinking, like, what is it about the dog? Like, why why do we have to get the dog collar? I was just thinking, because I know you you use it later, but I'm always thinking about like triggers in games and stuff, and like and like why doing one thing affects another. But oh, it's because the boarding pass is on the dog collar, and of course you need that. I don't think we can get around this thing, can we? Uh, okay, I kind of saw like a kid run away or something. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. I'm just playing the game again. Because, the, the, so there were items I had in my inventory that I never found the use for. So, I'm sure I just have to connect a couple dots that I didn't connect before uh, and and it'll probably lead to some interesting stuff all righty then and the game's not that long I mean last time I it it took me a lot of extra time to beat the game because I just, like, wandered around not understanding how to solve certain puzzles for a long time. 
Like when I forgot about that locked box. And I was running around for three hours. It wasn't really three hours, but I was running around for a long time. Just being like, what the fuck? I can't find this thing. I wonder, though, I, I'm sure that we'll come to some kind of spot this time, too, though, <laughs> where I'll just get stuck again and not understand how I did it last time. I feel like I need to turn the lights off just to be able to see in this game, though. I was, I, I was going to just play it normally this time, but uh, I'm not seeing it. No one allowed through without a pass. All right. We know about that. Let's just get to the slot here. Boarding pass. And I'm doing it. Let me just <laughs> smallen myself down here real quick. Move that to about there and this down as well. I can't see in this game. I got to turn the lights out. There, yeah, see, now I can see perfectly. All right. Oh, shit, though, I forgot to apply my change. There we go. Now, what I'm afraid of, though, is that in my rushing through the uh, parts like this, I'm going to miss something that I, that I got last time. Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog kidnaps kids. So, by the way, um, I guess this is going to naturally be pretty spoilery as I, you know, just for me, as I just kind of talk about things that happen later that we see now. Like, of course, Stray Dog becomes a big deal. Um, what is this door? Can I go in here? No, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that that's a funny thing, Camel, is that the first time I played this game, it wasn't 100% blind anyway. Like, uh, you know, because I, I, I started this game last week. But um, five, okay, I guess it was five years ago, but still. Five years ago, I played through the first half of this game with Nicole and, uh, and had completely forgotten everything when I started again. Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog gives us sweets. Oh no, when I turned the lights off, it turned my foot warmer off. I need to move it to a different outlet. Let's see. Get the hence. There we go. All right. My little tootsies are cold. Ah, there we go. Do you think this door is locked too? I hope so. Did Cuphead pull a dark horse win? Oh, is the voting for that over? I voted for play whatever the hell you want to play, which, uh, which meant I didn't vote. I'm going to play that game just, you know, when I get time for it. Oh, but I was going to say, anyway, the, the voice of the... Oh, yeah, the kids were beating that bag with sticks. And now there's a bloody thing on the ground. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, I think the voice that was reading that story at the beginning, like before it turned into the little, little boy, little girl reading the story, it sounded like it was, um, it was the guy in the gingerbread house. You know the guy. By Sunday... The pea was in the ground, and by Monday, the pea was no longer found. That guy, it was probably him reading the story, right? Makes sense. How's it going, Mega? Good to see you. <laughs> oh, no! 
So now I have to like look in every door. That was a big thing about the the gingerbread house chapter last time was that <laughs> the the that chapter was like really intuitively designed where I just I just like ran straight to the correct door. <laughs> The unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. You know you'll hate Cuphead? Then don't play it. Unless you want to play a game that you'll hate. I've had those days. I've been like, you know what? I want to play a shitty game today. I've had those days. Okay. So, we gotta... We gotta look around in places we didn't look last time to see if there are any... Any things. I guess wanting to play a shitty game is a little different though, because... Um... Oh yeah. Uh... Oh, that's true, that's true. You might end up being pleasantly surprised. But, uh... Right, I, I, I guess when I say I want to play a shitty game today, that's different than saying I want to play a game that I think I'm going to hate. Because, you know, if you want to play a shitty game, then you're going to like it. I could see somebody playing this game and saying it's shitty and awful. And, like, if I, I think if somebody went into this game... <laughs> thinking that they weren't going to like it, I don't think that they would like it. I came into this game really wanting to like it, and so the things that bothered me about it, I let slide. And then it turned out that most of the things that bothered me about this game, I was just wrong about anyway. Like, like near the end of the game, I kept learning new mechanics and just figuring things out about the game that was like, oh, here's that thing that I was complaining about. Turn, turns out it actually was a mechanic that I was just, uh, I was just uh, ignorant of. Like, you know, <clears throat> having a map. Um, so yeah. I don't think I have to be looking at all this stuff, by the way. I'm just trying to be thorough and we'll end up beating the game much faster than last time anyway. Just need to make sure. Oh yeah, this is like the headmaster's room. It probably just said that on the screen, but I'm just getting flashbacks of when you come here later. Oh my gosh, I forgot how confusing this place is. Fuck. It's all right. Any of the doors that like don't lead to the victory will probably just be closed, right? Or locked. Yeah, I came in these rooms so many times later when I was trying to figure out that one chapter where you just had to like talk to all the kids. And then they said, "Meet me in the hall." And I went to the hall and got a cutscene of somebody like pushing Jennifer down the stairs, and I was like, "Was that it?" And then I What the fuck was that? I don't remember this. But the rear stairway, I think, is where I'm supposed to be going. Anyway, um... It's gonna let me outside? But then it turned out that there was just, like, an item in the middle of the floor that I could pick up. That I... that I... Like, this is what I'm talking about, the thing, like, I started to sit there and be like, this game is, I don't like how the puzzles are where you just have to run around going into every room until one of them is randomly the one you're supposed to go into. And that's what I was saying, because that's how kind of the chapter was a little bit, but it turned out that on that part, there was just an item in the middle of the fucking floor that I had to, that I had to pick up. Whoa! I was also complaining at one point about how the when the camera changes angles, it doesn't 
preserve Jennifer's direction until you uh, move the analog stick, and then it turns out that it does. I could swear this is where you're supposed to go. Wait a minute, was I supposed to, like, find a, a, another storybook or something? The funeral for a friend? Or is this the right way? Okay, damn it! Maybe this isn't gonna be a breeze this time, because I don't remember where I'm going. I could have sworn I was supposed to go to the attic. Maybe I'm just supposed to find things first. Like, what's this? Nothing? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be following the kid. Yeah, Metalhead, I, I had no idea. I think it might, it was a little, I thought it was a little less than that. I thought it was like 200 for, for the, for the complete. Um, and then disc only was like 135 or something, I thought. But I... Ah! I got the mat, I got the manual and everything. Um, but yeah, I had no idea, like I was saying, I, uh, <laughs> I bought this game five years ago for like, um, oh, on Amazon, okay. Yeah, I think I was looking on eBay, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I bought this game like five years ago for like $15. And now it, it turns out it's one of my most valuable games. All right, we need the photo. Actually, let's look at this photo. Now that we know things about the story. Oh, no, that's not really anything special, I don't think. I mean, it's got young Jennifer in it, so that's interesting. Yeah, a friend of mine had it, like, five years ago, and I, I, I played it, um, or, or I just, I thought it looked really, really cool. And she told me that it was really cool. Um, and then I saw it at GameStop for, like, 15 bucks, you know, complete. Damn it, I'm not trying to go through this door a bunch. Uh, and I was like, I'm gonna buy this and play it. The funny thing is that Nicole bought a copy disc only, and I bought a copy, uh, complete. So we both got a copy for like 15 bucks. And not, now we have two copies of this. So not, not only this did this game jump in value by more than a hundred, or more than a thousand percent, but, uh, but we have two copies of it. One of them is only the disc, though. Okay, now I'm... Now we're... Now we're going the right way.
Yeah. <laughs> if I ever needed money, I would go on eBay and I would look up all my games, you know? See, see what all of them are worth. I, I wonder if I have any other games that are like... That are like weirdly valuable that I didn't know. Like, let me... I, I'm actually curious about one specific one. How much is... Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. Oh wait, they're remaking this game, so it's probably not worth very much. Yeah, 46 bucks. Alright, whatever. Okay, yeah, see, it is the attic that you're supposed to go to. Okay, so there's the kid. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. There's an item here. What? There's an item here. Give it to me. There we go. The orphanage map! Okay, so now if I go to orphanage map and I say use... Boom, now we've got a map. And now I just press select and I get a map. See, that was a mechanic that I missed last time until ha until over halfway through the game. You got Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2 brand new. Nice. I uh I just um I just played through Digital Devil Saga 2 uh, a few months ago. I played the first one a few years ago, and then I, I played Digital Devil Saga 2 just a few months ago. My, aren't you a slowpoke like always? Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> Okay, what was the rest of the story? Let's read it. And the poor girl was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose. But the girl found herself very much alone. The funeral is about to begin. All right, if you're waiting for this game to get weird, um, I will be happy to oblige uh, in just a moment. Things, the game is about to show its first signs of just absolute bizarreness. Whoa, jeez. See, okay, here's the thing about why I didn't notice the camera controls is because it always changes angles while you're, like, swinging around a corner or something. So you're changing direction on your stick anyway. That's why I didn't notice that it actually does the thing that it's supposed to do. Oh, I guess I go the other way. All right. Jeez. Oh yeah, we gotta shut this dog up. It is important to the story though, what's happening with the dog. But still, it's like, ugh. Noises. Oh, yeah, I 
little dog to bark at everything? Fuck. Well, prepare to be surprised. You ever been to somebody's house that has like three of those little dogs? Fuck, man. Yipping and running around, clacking their little fucking claws on the tiles, jumping up on the couches that are all scratched to shit because all these dogs are running around them. Oh, man. Coming up to you and jumping up and, and ramming their noses into your crotch. Just look at you. You're filthy. <laughs> Uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our flight. Attention all passengers, we will be taking off in a short while. Please take all large luggage to section 8 of the freight storage compartment. Thank you. So, did you notice that... Um, tall girl had a fish drawn on her paper bag, and Amanda had a pig. I bet there was also a rat and a goat. And now you get why when people, when people came in to the middle of the stream and they're like, so what I miss? I'm like, I, maybe you don't even want to know. Okay, so the last one was March, and now we're in April. All right. So far, the timeline makes sense. <laughs> Except for the part that... I don't really get the thing where we're old, Jennifer. But, like, recounting the events of young Jennifer or something? <laughs> when the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. I think I have to like keep trying to escape. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. Good morning, Jennifer. How do you feel? Let's have a little chat, shall we? Sure. Hmm. Good girl. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Sure. <sighs> You're a brave girl. Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Yes. <sighs> Clever girl. I wonder now, if those I'm going to give you your choices first do order. anything. Probably not. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. 
Is there anything about this that you don't understand? No. <laughs> no? Hmm. Oh well. It doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. And from now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince and the prince rules. <laughs> this is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> you know, we probably should have watched the opening cutscene again. The games begin, dear Jennifer. And so, the rope was cut, snip snip, and the, and the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's funny that it says it twice. Okay, so we want the scissors, but we cannot get them yet. What we can get is the bucket. Please put me back atop my body. And there we have it. I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Let us try to recall our memories. All right, great. And then we also have a storage bin? Yeah. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped would be collected inside it. Okay, great. So now I think all we have is Little Princess, which I don't think we need. We don't need the orphanage map. I'm not going to bother dropping other stuff, though, because I'm not sure if we need it this chapter. Uh, okay, so... Let's try and remember where to go here. Oh, I think we just have to go straight to the Aristocrat Club. Uh, do we get the dog yet in this chapter? I don't know. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? So we get the orphanage map from like the spare parts room or something like that? Uh, check the box. A strange box is attached to the door. Things can be placed inside it. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. I just realized that this one specifies one per person. 
and I don't think the rest of them do. Okay, so they ran to my left. So I guess we should probably just follow them, right? Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. And it's interesting that it says swam, because they, they depict the airship as a giant fish swimming through the sky with a orphanage-like or the airship part of it's just like attached to the bottom. Oh right, the schoolmaster is here. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. Why are you always shirking your duties? The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty. I don't think that's how that line was supposed to be delivered. I think it should have been more like, how dirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I do keep saying schoolmaster, even though it's, a, it's an orphanage. Well, it's an orphanage, but I think they do teach there too. There's like a classroom. Here's where those two girls ran off to, that we saw from the, from the side. I love this game's soundtrack. I know I've said it a thousand times, but such a good soundtrack. Okay, let's keep going. sure we check out all these rooms. Um, I just don't know if there's actually an item that we need from this chapter. But I mean, I gotta be thorough though. Can't get into the VIP room. There are marks on this wall. I don't think I've ever gone in there. Maybe that has something to do with the super special true ending. Oh right, we can't get in there yet because we're not an aristocrat yet. That's right, like the starting area per chapter upgrades as it goes. That was really cool. All right, so we gotta come down and we gotta, we gotta find this butterfly. Um, I like that all the doors are labeled and they're actually like correctly labeled.
The pig waddles on after it. So what, now is this door open? Oh yeah, there's like a kid in there. We're going. Okay, yeah, you do get the dog right away. All right, all right. Now, the map of this area, I want to say, is in here. Yeah. Last time, I just, like, couldn't figure out how to pick that up. Because you have to, like, stop. You can't be, like, running at it, mashing X like this, like a normal, you know, human would do while they're trying to pick something up. Well, not like a living person, but like a video game player. You have to, like, stop in front of it and then hit X. Anyway. So I just thought it was nothing. I was like, oh, an item, and then I tried to press X on it and it didn't work, and so then I stopped trying to press X on it because I figured it was just part of the environment. And there we go. We have ourselves a map. So, our goal soon enough is going to be getting the, uh, getting the dog, which means we need the scissors. Now the filth room is right there, so we gotta get into the room that's right behind it. I'm not sure if we can do that yet. We probably have to come look at the dog first. The dog was all alone and tied up and hung from the ceiling. With no means to cut the ropes and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. I'm glad they didn't text her a little anus on the dog. Is this the backup parts room? Yeah. Okay. So with that, if we turn left here, Let's try and go get the scissors right away. I might have to go get something else first though. But I believe you just have to come in here, right? Yeah, we still can't do it. So we've been led over here by Fat Princess. Do you guys remember that game, Fat Princess? So we gotta try to find, oh my god, the camera. Uh, we gotta try to find how to, or uh, where, where this butterfly went. So there's two side rooms. Let's check them out, because I don't remember. We probably have to talk to these kids. The unlucky girl met Wendy, the lonely princess. The princess saw that the girl was confused, so she smiled gently and said, <coughs> You're the new girl, aren't you? <coughs> I'm Wendy. It's nice to meet you. <coughs> Why is Wendy so nice? All right, so here we've got some pigs.
I feel like if I really pay harder attention to the story this time, we're gonna we're gonna realize some cool stuff. Like just the thing about how the paper bags that the kids were wearing had the animals on them that are throughout the rest of the game. Eleanor is cold as ice. Inside the acrid room, the princess shot an icy glare and said, Yes, she is a pain. It's interesting that the livestock here is chickens, though, because I don't remember chickens ever coming up again. Like, the other livestock room had pigs in it, and pigs are one of the main animals. But not chickens. Wait, no, there are birds later. I forgot about the birds. There's rats, goats, pigs. Fish. And birds. Okay, so behind her and to the left is where we just saw Amanda. The unlucky girl meant Diana, the strong-willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. So Diana, I never remembered her name. I'll have to remember that this time. I'll try to remember their names this time. Wendy is the nice girl with the little hat. Amanda's the pig. Diana is the tall one in the cool pinstriped outfit. The unlucky girl meant Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl! A new girl! That's the scariest thing in the whole game. Man, lately I can't stop thinking about the idea of scratching my nails on paper and it's fucking driving me nuts. Every time I think about taking notes while I play a game, I think about the feeling of if my fingernails scratched across the paper and then it really upsets me. Oh, this is Martha. I remember Martha's name. I think she dies later. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Okay, I don't think there's anything to do over here yet. But we are going to squelch this crying as soon as possible. Remember last time when I couldn't figure out how to do that? Because it's like, you can come up and talk to the crying girl, but then you can also, like, talk to the butterfly next to her. Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. But then you also talk to the butterfly. Yes, take the butterfly. <gasps> you deserve to be cobbled up. Yeah, we got the fork. And the butterfly. Let's equip that fork. We're gonna stab something to death with it. Uh, 
All right, now I'm sure all these doors are locked. Sometimes you just gotta make sure. That's weird though, where's the three leaf clover door? Does that not exist? Oh, there it is. So now what was down here? Anything I can take? Oh yeah, what does this say? It must be because of the crack in the mirror, but you see the illusion of a strange man in the reflection. Who's this fucking idiot? <laughs> Did you hear the news? Witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? That witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do, or else spooky things will come and do it. Could it be because it's cracked? For a moment, the reflection in the mirror looked like the old orphanage. Alright, they're talking about spooky things killing Martha. Unless we kill Martha. I don't think we can kill Martha. Moving on then. Uh, I believe we want to just go back now, right? Yeah, 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 we're right on our way back to the filth room, which is perfect. Unless we're supposed to give the shitty butterfly to the... We're supposed to offer the shitty butterfly? Well, that's on the other side of, the, of this place anyway. There's more steps to this first chapter than I remember. Okay, so if I'm right, this will still be locked. Yep, then we offer the shitty butterfly. All right, all right. Let's go. Stab that child to death with this fork. Now I want to try this again because of that. Okay, so I think we have to offer the shitty butterfly and then that door will become available. That's where we get the scissors. We then give the scissors, or we then use the scissors to get the dog. And the dog will lead us straight to the butterfly. She was too unlucky. 
Wait, though. This might be important. Oh, okay, never mind. This is just the Clover story that we're going to do next. What's up, ghost? But she dropped it on the road. Okay, make an offering. Green butterfly. You call this a, but a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. That's cool, ghost. You're building up quite the collection. <laughs> A one leaf key. Hang on, I don't remember this being part of this part. <gasps> oh, it's the man. In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. The man quietly handed her a storybook. The Clover Field. Alright, so this is a story about how she couldn't find any clovers. Well, let's review, shall we? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. No, Mayor, it's that um, I got a bad ending before, so I'm playing again to try to get a, a better ending. Um, I believe the game has a true ending that uh, I want to do. Okay, so, what is this room? Yeah, so we're back on the first chapter now. Okay, so we still can't access that part of the ship, that's fine. Now I'm kind of forgetting where we are. I think I just want to go this way. Ah, yes, and now we can get the dog. Okay, perfect. So he ran out of this room. And in this room... Uh, in this room, we see the room that we were tied up in. Push the button? Of course. something on that table, did I? I don't think so. Let's go. Okay, so now that we cut that, or, or that we hit that switch, we can go back in the filth room. 
Is this the part that's weird and scary? No, okay, man, I'm gonna be worried about that every time I come in here now. I can't think of another time that you ever have to come back into the filth room, so like, it's kind of weird. Uh, the thing that I missed last time, there were items in my inventory that I never found the use for. Uh, as in, like, I think there were some, some things I had to get the dog to find. But I didn't know what chapter to do it in. Like, uh, for example, the 814 film. Uh, we never found out what that led to. And when I got to the film projector in the last chapter, or close to it, uh, it was broken. Which means, now that we have the scissors, or now that we have the dog, it's time to rectify that. This time, we're, we, this time we have to find everything. And now, we use the dog collar. Brown! Um... You know, I, I remember seeing the, uh the intro to Snatcher, and there was something about it that I really liked, but I can't remember what it was. All right, biscuit tin. Here we go. Yep. Go! We got the biscuits. Yeah, this concludes the tutorial. Those, that's my favorite thing to read in a video game. Okay, so now we need to start looking for things. So, we can take the scissors. And what do the scissors find? Uh, brown? Uh... Oh, jeez. I think hanging this dog upside down by a rope might have fucked it up a little bit. How about you come over the... Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, okay, he just wanted to go into this room. A ribbon, all right. Now the ribbons find a few things. Go. Am I supposed to find more ribbons though? Maybe I should sniff the scissors more.
I remember the Dreamcast having no copy protection. I remember my, uh, someone I knew, um, is this gonna, be? okay. I remember someone I knew having a bunch of burned CDs that they played Dreamcast games on, and I was like, that's, that's bizarre. Go. So a ribbon might find just another ribbon? Oh no, I'm just still sniffing the, no, 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 ribbons find other ribbons, okay. I'm just gonna just gonna pop that in the chat real quick since we're finding a bunch of ribbons. We need to just make that a sound bite. I wonder if Joey Mousepad is able to play sounds. Chocolate. That's excellent. Wrong button. Uh, so is this nothing too? Go. Okay. What does chocolate find? Hang on. Okay, I think we can... We can get rid of the biscuit tin. Uh, yeah, Ghost, you know, I've never really listened to the, to the Chrono Cross soundtrack, uh, but Skaploony, uh, has said a few times that it, it's, it's, it's like top three soundtracks for him. It might actually be his favorite soundtrack. Why doesn't he want to? Ah, he just, he's walking the walk. He's walking the walk with everybody. He doesn't need to wear a ribbon. What the hell is this? The film. What found me the film? The chocolate? Chocolate? Weird. So yeah, this film, never found out what to do with this. Let's see if, let's see if it finds anything yet. Nope, okay. So we're going to have to pay close attention to that film and see if we can find anything else with it. Go. So yeah, if you thought this game was a lot of having the dog sniff things and then following it around, oh, get ready for this playthrough where I'm going to be way more thorough with it. Oh yeah, I did that all the time as a kid, Ghost. Put just put PS1 games into um into uh, CD players. Uh, some PS2 games it worked for as well. I remember the Gran Turismo 3 CD had the Lenny Kravitz song on it. It was like a remix of Are You Gonna Go My Way was the, uh, was the theme song for that game. You guys remember that thing that was in the news recently where apparently- wait, dog? Where Lenny Kravitz was like playing a show 
And while he had his legs spread out playing a solo, a guitar solo, apparently the crotch of his pants just busted open, revealing to the crowd his enormous penis. It was in Sweden. <laughs> All right, let's move forward a little bit with this, uh... Wait. Okay. I gotta make sure. Let's sniff the chocolate again. Go. Okay. Is there more ribbon stuff to find? Go! You had a cock ring? I don't remember hearing that part. Like, that almost makes it seem like it was planned. If he was, like, sporting something fancy on his penis. Or maybe they're just comfortable. I don't know. I've never worn a cock ring. Maybe they're comfortable. So we're finding lots of ribbons. Okay, but that's all. So we got six ribbons, we're done with chocolate. What about biscuit? Now, my only question is, will the dog ever try to bring me to, like, a locked door that I don't have the key to? <laughs> One of your coworkers liked the Lenny Kravitz penis burst. I mean, he's an attractive man. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's bringing, okay. All right, all right, the port livestock room. See, the dog brings you pretty far. So I think that if the dog makes the gesture that it can't find anything, then it's not gonna find anything. Bacon? See, bacon's just something I never saw last time. I didn't really have him sniff very many biscuits though. Another ribbon. Okay, that's all we got for biscuits. Scissors, I think he was out of he was out of ribbons from the scissors. Okay. We're never gonna need this. Bacon also finds the film. Go. And then one more try on the film. Go. Okay. All right, let's find this butterfly. Go.
So the thing I like about the Clover story is that, um, you know, it tells you where to get the keys. It's like, she says one of the Clovers she dropped on the road, which the one kid drops as uh, the one leaf Clover key the kid drops as they're going by. Which is pretty obvious. Okay, so we need to get into the three leaf clover room in order to, uh... get this. I thought you already did a shitty game stream. Go. Yeah, 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 shit. So now we have access to a new area, and I don't think that means that the dog will find anything new. But I feel the urge to try. Go. What? He's finding the film! Uh-oh. Okay, so it's behind a door that has a child. So remember this, it's in, whatever the film finds is in the first passenger corridor. Okay. What if I try and get in there from the other direction? Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if we come back here. Whoops. Can we get in here? Yeah. Oh, but this is just the clover doors though. So the place I need to get is Kitten Princess. Second passenger. Second passenger is this place. I'm talking about this place. Okay, so right, right, right. The other way in there is the three is the three key. So that's fine. All right, so very interesting. Once we're in a new place... Oh yeah, this game's soundtrack is amazing. So once we're in a new place, that means that the dog can find stuff again. So we need to go... We already have the film. Who knows, though? Go. Go! Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of this. I can't drop the- oh right, you have to remove it first. Okay. You moved? Let's find this, cause I bet it will find us... ...the key that it goes into. Where'd you move to? If, well, if, you know, you can, you can plead the fifth if you don't want to tell people where you live.
and the copper key leaf was attached to the key, a one leaf key became a two leaf key. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wasn't the green butterfly also behind the three door? So let's check this stuff out in here. What does the chocolate find? Go. Nothing. Go. Louisiana. Is that the state that's shaped like a boot? At the bottom of the elf? Of which Minnesota here is the hat of? Yes, I am that stupid at geography that I have to ask. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Oh, and uh, that's where um, that one really popular city is. New Orleans. Right, right, right. Okay. Glad to be out of Florida. What's wrong with Florida? I know that, like, a few things about it, but hang on a second. Where am I? Hey, we're in the... We are in the second passenger corridor now. How did that happen? Okay, I guess I'm just dumb. Alright, let's go. Uh, now we can sniff the, the, the film. Go. Okay, it's on that side. Oh, this is the one that's obstructed right away. Okay, so we probably have to go to the cafeteria. I'm guessing right now, I mean, like, the, the thing we're supposed to do is sniff the hat and find Martha. Dirty rag. It smells rank. I always thought rank was R-A-N-C, and it was short for rancid. In the dark ro room, the unknown occupant spoke in a shrill voice. I was a mighty witch, yet now I am a powerless wretch, rubbish and dust. My precious, precious key, I hid it secretly. I hid it in a pure and dirty place. I hid it secretly. Your eyes cannot find it. You are a poor, truly unlucky girl. Right, remember it said that the third key was lost in the shadows? Well, what if we just sniff out the, the rag? What's happening? Okay, that was there was like a cutscene happening right there, but I couldn't tell what was actually occurring. Oh, okay. See, that's what I've heard about Florida mostly is just lots of old people.
Oh yeah, this part. And there's the three leaf key. All right, perfect. Take me there, dog. Game called Echo Shift? No, I've never I've never heard of it, I don't think. Alright, so there we go. Uh now, what else was there to look for? No, I think this is good. So I think we come here, we take this off find, and we use it. And now we can find the film. This door's got, like, light coming from out of it. <laughs> it's Amanda's room. Nine out of fourteen. Okay, crazy. Go. Before we go any further, I don't. I'm not going to advance the plot until we figure. Until we get to the bottom of these films. Like, I kind of bet that the films are the only thing that I missed, you know? Like, the only thing that, that decides which ending you get. Because everything else that I missed before was like... Um... Let's go left. Uh, w was like consumable items. Press switches and stuff and then you rewind time. And your past self does stuff while you can go through it. Oh! Okay. Cool. In a room we can't get into yet? And what is that room? Wait, it's just in here? We know how to get in. We can get in there. We just have to go around. The men's lavatory. 
There it is. Look at this. We're doing it. So film 9 out of 14. Let's send away. Go. <laughs> My favorite uh, time based puzzle platformer is Time Fuck, but uh, it's not, you don't really re rewind time though. It's just, it, it's like, it's just got like a time story to it. Four out of fourteen. Go. Man, we sure can access a lot of these films at once. There's fourteen, we have like five of them already. I don't think we can go in here, though. What? Oh, it's just the smoking room. Okay. Go. Okay. All right, so we don't see where that one is yet. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff we just found. Um, I don't even remember where to go now. Back up the stairs. And then we got the three leaf key. Oh, right. Okay. So we got, we, we have to go to Amanda's room. Right, right, right. Go. Go. All right, let's see what we can find, though, as far as biscuits. Go! Because I want to find a marble, because the marbles find white chocolate, which is just a full heel. I think the regular chocolate was, like, almost a full heel. Go! Okay, nothing more there. Ribbon? Go. I don't really understand the ribbons. I don't know if they do to use them. Maybe that's another thing I have to figure out. Go! Wait a second. Go! Okay. All right, so into Amanda's room. The unlucky girl met Amanda, the small-hearted princess. The princess's round face loomed large as she spoke to the girl.
I found this butterfly. It's mine. I won't give it to you. I won't lose to you. Dirty newcomer, out with you. Okay, and then I guess when we leave, something will probably happen. By the way, the game brightens up a little bit as we go. Like, it's very dark here. I just wonder what happened to that girl that makes her behave in the way that she does. The things she says, the faces she makes, the gestures, she's just like the most just socially inept thing I've ever seen. Go! Go! Alright, this is all we have left. Butterfly case. Unless I'm, like, supposed to go into each kid's room and find it that way. Or, or find more stuff, you know? This part's really bizarre. I really like stuff like this. girl found a beautiful blue butterfly. This butterfly would surely make a satisfactory gift. All she needs to do is catch it and take it to the gift box. Place, place waste paper in the rubbish bin. Laundry in the filth. Stray dog gives us sweets. These are the... Stray dog kidnaps kids. Stray dog comes at night. Children who don't clean up will be punished. Hello, boys and girls. So... I think what the deal is there is that the kids have the rumor about Stray Dog, but then the schoolmaster, or, the, or the, the housemaster of the orphanage, has made his own rumors about kids who don't clean up. And I guess it's that if you don't clean up, these kids will come and do it. The spooky, these are the spooky cleaners, and they kill people. All right, let's go deliver this butterfly. 
I don't need to look in every kid's room, do I? That can't be a thing. This part of the map I'm starting to know pretty well. Oh, there's a rat boy. I think that's the first appearance of rat boy. What if like, there's no way. I'm just, these are the things I think about. What if rat boy drops something special? But I don't think that the kids really drop things except for weapons. All right, make an offering. The blue butterfly. I don't know. Oh, why not? What? It's her first time. Yeah, she's new. So, pass. Gentlemen, welcome to the Aristocrat Club. Thank you all for gathering here today. Disgrace. Nothing worse than nothing. Your gift is worth nothing. Amanda. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Quit moving your tongue around like that. It's fucking weird. That poor rat indeed. I don't, I'm not sure what hazing means. All right, so we did March and April. When the unlucky girl awoke, she was in the back in the strange room. The boy in white clothes looked down with knowing eyes and spoke to her. Well, do you remember what a bad girl you were? Oh, okay. You've done many, many bad things. You'll just have to remember them little by little. And when you fully remember what a bad girl you were, this game will end. Now, take your stupid dog and continue with our little game, dear Jennifer. Now we are in May, Sir Peter. It seems like they make all the kids do weird stuff. Alright, so hopefully I satisfied the conditions for the true ending on that, on that chapter. Dragon Ball Super? Oh, I think people were talking about that while I was playing, like... Bloodborne. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. And then is that Amanda just watching us? Amanda, how about you just come in here and fucking talk to me? What the fuck? Question number one, Amanda. What the fuck? Alright, so that means that the the next area of the ship should be available now so that we can get to the to the lift. Ugh. Sock. I believe socks lead to marbles. Yes, and we got the steel pipe, my favorite weapon. probably talk to these kids. The girl t tried to get his attention, but the gluttonous prince ignored her. The girl tried to talk to the sloppy prince, but he wouldn't respond. Uh. 
So I'm not sure how long we're playing this. What the hell? Dog. I'm not sure how long we're playing this before we move over to Amnesia. It's getting sufficiently dark in here. As the tearful princess stood in front of an equation on the chalkboard, she said, Mr. Hoffman is really scary when he's mad. From the other side of the fence, the mischievous prince taunted. Have you been a bad girl? I'll tell Mr. Hoffman on you. Go! Okay, he's trying to get through here, but we can't seem to open this. But we could get in there from the other side. Let's try that real quick. Maybe we'll get away from the crying girl, too. Alright, I don't have super high hopes that I'll be able to get in here. Yeah. It's probably that douchebag on the other side of the fence blocking me. I don't know if it's necessarily a great idea to be looking for stuff before we've kind of opened the chapter up. So, all right, let's just find Amanda. Go. Oh jeez, I shouldn't have talked to that girl. Now she won't quit crying. Fuck. Let's check out the middle real quick. I know Amanda's on top, but I want to check about sniffing for the film. Go. Okay. And I know where Amanda is, but I'm going to sniff the thing anyway to make it so that it fills out the find item. Dark, starless night.
Excuse me. All right, so now we can't go back up there because, like, the hatch is shut or something. So let us continue on. Uh, we need to go to the offering box and find out that we're supposed to be looking for Sir Peter. I don't know what the deal with the yawning is. Wait, why am I still following the dog? He's still gonna show where Amanda is? I guess she went to the offering box as well? No, she's in the sewing room? <laughs> I have a wonderful gift just for you. It's almost ready, so please wait a little longer. <laughs> Tee hee hee. Oh, here's another thing we never figured out last time. Is what's in here? Amanda and Jennifer report to the gift box at once. Nervously, the small-hearted princess rolled her shoulders and said, Too bad, but the gift will have to wait. For now, let's wish ourselves luck, Jennifer. Hee <laughs> hee. Hang on. Now that she's not watching this thing like a hawk, what does it say? There's a small diary with a floral pattern on its cover inside the glass case. However, the case is locked. Oh. 
Is that all this does? I know, that's why I tried to hit it with the thing later. But I mean, who, the owner of the diary will know then. Maybe we need to read it in secret without them knowing. going on here? What the hell is she doing here? Crawling on all fours, the small-hearted princess said. Peter must be around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Just got a rat on a stick rubbed in your face. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's right, fuck everybody. Alright, as always, we gotta get to the bottom of this film. And let's take a look at this. Alright, the box has been smashed. The box is smashed! Check the box. Box is crushed. Did Peter escape and is he responsible? Read the poster. Emergency. One horned Peter ran away. Catch him. Catch him. Whoa, I can move with the D pad. All right, uh. All right, well, it's time to start figuring out where P Peter is. But also, like, check this out. Go. No chocolate. Go. Oh, we've got a ribbon target. This is locked. What? We can go in here now? All right, we got another sock. Is there something else in here? Oh, right, this is where the bird is. This is why I thought Sir Peter was a bird at first. The cold princess spoke to the girl in an even, emotionless tone. Peter should not be out of his cage. Go. Wait, was that a I don't know? Go. Okay. So we're done with ribbons. What about biscuit? Go. Okay. Scissors. Go. Okay. All right. Now smell my socks. Go. Let's go. Clothes pin. Go! See, these seem like meaningless items, but at some point, it's gonna pop off. We gotta find the key to this diary box. Hey, it's Diane. The strong-willed princess snorted and commanded, Now hurry up and go find him. It's time you peons <laughs> get you peons to work. Dawdle too long and Amanda will beat you to him. Go! Okay, that's all the sock finds. But now the clothespin. That's got plenty of targets. Go! Oh. 
Marble, nice. Marbles lead to good shit. Go. Okay, sick. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, we. Mm -hmm. I don't think I saw that last time. Well, all right, but isn't there another way into this room? From, yeah, from the door to the left. So this will probably be locked also. Oh my gosh, my nose keeps itching. Okay, so the clothespins are just finding marbles right now. What do the marbles find us? No. Ah, nose! Another marble. Go. Hey, Boogie. Wait a second, that's a Cherno emote. That's new for you, right? Has he been playing that new uh, Cyber Dimension game? Subbed yesterday? Nice. Cherno's great. He's my favorite big streamer. Go. Except maybe Skin Teen. I like, I like her about as much. Go. It does look great. I didn't realize, though, that it was only on PS4 for now and that it's coming out on PC later. For some reason, I assumed it was only on PC, but I guess that's because I also assumed that there was an online component to it that was not, like, does it have online co-op or something? I don't know. I don't remember. It's not an online game, though. Which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'd rather it not be. All right, so I guess it's time to find Peter. Our inventory is getting a little cluttered. The impetuous princess bustled about, complaining. Peter smells like poo. He's so stinky, I don't want to touch him. Stinky, stinky, go away. Oh, right, we gotta find his droppings or something. And so this is one of those parts where I think we just sort of have to run around for a minute. And we'll see, like, the clue. Hey, Season Salt. You found Haunting Ground at Salvation Army a week ago? I've never heard of that. Is that, a, is that a, another horror game? Haunting Ground. I imagine it's a game. What's it for? Go! Wait, what am I telling him to do right now? PS2? Sweet. Hmm. Alright, let's just take a look at the map here. And try to remember. 
he's probably over here, right? Because I'm gonna have to go in here and spoiler, spoiler in a minute. This is my second playthrough of this game, by the way. I'm trying to get the... I'm trying to not get the bad ending this time. What the hell was that? Okay, let's go. There's a thing. Oh, it's just a lamp. This is going to be nothing, isn't it? I should be going around where the other kids are. So what is this? Like engine? Okay. One of the engines. You like never end up having to come into these. Unless you do. Where's dog? Oh right, I went down a ladder so he's not here. Dogs don't ladder. I've got water today. Go. And I never got past this also. I don't think. Did we ever go over here? Hunting Ground has a dog, too. Who made it? Who's the developer and the publisher? I'm very curious. Because this game is very weird and was a very pleasant surprise. I like it a lot. Seems like PS2 had some real, real bangers for horror games. Silent Hill 2. You know, that's the only other one I was thinking of. Capcom? Okay. I need to get another Soylent in a minute. But yo, I love these new bottles they come in. Is Metalhead still here? Are you getting these like square bottles? That are a little bit shorter? They're great. Because they don't have that stupid thing you have to pull off the top. You haven't gotten the bottles yet. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks for the follow, Season Salt. You know, I think my only issue with this game, um, ultimately, is that it doesn't... It's... Oh, there's the rabbit. It's, um... Oh, this... Okay. It's funny that I bring this up now. Because of this. That part freaked me out. Uh, the first time. Joshua, I've written a new story for you. But, um, there's not really... This game doesn't really... Didn't really end up scaring me ever. It wasn't like... The atmosphere is a little creepy, but not really. Okay, so it's a little different in here this time. Is this the Sir Peter book now? 
Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, the cutscenes in this are really good. I mean, that that was definitely the the highlight is like the ends of all the chapters and stuff. Hang on, I got to plug in this controller, I guess. Like, I, I really, really like this game. Um, I'm just pointing out that that was one thing, is that uh, it never really got overly... They, it, like, like it, it's what I'm trying to say is, like, it, it's barely a horror game, it seems. It has horror themes, but not the, like, scariness. All right, so that's how we're going to find Peter. But now, what if we go for the film now? Go! Nope. Go! All right, so let's find this rabbit. Basically, these droppings are going to lead us to the rabbit about 800 times, and Jennifer is just going to keep letting it get away. It's like she's just, it's like she's not even trying to really capture the rabbit. What's this? Oh, is this the paring knife? I don't think we need these eight ribbons. Kitchen knife. I'm sticking with the pipe. Go. Oh, there we go. And you know, it's got stuff like this. Like that's a that that that's a good setup right there. What? Okay, so we're locked in here. That means we need to go We just need to go around the other way then, right? Oh god, there's so many. No, you're wrong. You're wrong, dog. Follow the lollipops. Follow the biscuits. Minced pie. That finds a ribbon? Oh no, not back this way. So it's been two and a half hours, so pretty soon I'm gonna need to uh, just go get a Soylent and, and, and take a stretch. Go! Okay, still nothing on, the, on that, that's fine. Go! We gotta find everything though. 
Somewhere there's going to be a key. That key is going to lead to a diary. A, a, yeah. So this is where all the kids are. No, stop leading me over here, dog. Unless he's just going to... Nope. This door doesn't work. Alright, that dog's not fooling me again. Oh, and let's take a quick look over here and see that if we go in the smoking room, we can get through. And that's right here. Whoops. Get him. Get him. Okay, so now... Again, get ready for lots of that. And here's the thing that was blocking the door. Oh, he's got a knife! Oh no, he knifed me with it. I think my inventory's full though, yeah. All right, so, uh, what can we get rid of? I guess the pie. We need to keep an open spot. Or the I, the rusty scissors I really probably don't need anymore also. Like as long as the game's not lying to me and it's only going to find me ribbons, then I don't think it's necessary. But I've also been dropping the ribbons. Go. Okay, so that's all that the biscuits found. Cause they still the biscuits still have a question mark. Go. So you never know what that's gonna be. How about this sock? Oh, look at that. Go. Oh, they have it from the other side, too. Well, that's fine. What is that, a chicken drumstick? And that has no... That has no fine target? Go. Go. Yeah, all clothespins have found me so far are marbles. 
Okay, and that door is locked. So let's do the marble find. Is that white chocolate? Yeah. White chocolate with no fine target, excellent. We still don't see what else chocolate finds. Someone's on knocking on something on my upstairs. Go! I wonder if Nicole is like pounding a nail. Just a trail of marbles, huh? So yeah, certain parts of this playthrough are going to go slower than the other because of how thorough we're, be we're being about finds targets. Some parts are going to go a lot faster though, because I'm not going to be a mongoloid. Where did dog go? Too many of these little assholes. They sure do put a lot of those on screen at once, which is nice. Oh, here we go. Sock? Okay. Go. Go. Oh, yep. Go. Oh, man. What's with all these marbles? This place was a treasure trove. Sewage treatment room. Okay, he's leaving again. I'm gonna do a save. I wonder if it's like the film isn't going to find anything until the next like major chapter where we are in a different area.
like when we're back in the orphanage or something. Cause like maybe I just like already got all the films for the for the airship or something like that. Okay, so getting blocked by this again. But we just go around the other way. Is this a scary game? It's definitely a horror game, and it's got little creepy things in it, but, and like the story is definitely a horror story, but like, I don't think, the, the game never actually like made me scared. But uh, we beat it once, and but I, I got a bad ending, so I'm trying to do a very thorough playthrough now where we get the good ending. Okay, so shortbread is the other thing that a marble finds. Alright, what does shortbread find? I mean, you can just kind of run past all the enemies. <laughs> What's that, a marble? No, more shortbread. And that doesn't come up as a fine target, right. But how are you, Alf? It's good to see ya. Go. Okay. So that trail has ended. Uh, gosh, Biscuit still has an unknown find target. Too full of nachos? I love being too full. Oh. Okay, so we've got a find target for this on the other side of that. Which we can get to. That boy isn't in there anymore. Wait a minute, we're on the other side now. That's what's going on. So we need to get out of here, which requires us to go in here and around. You don't like feeling too full? I like feeling too full. Speaking of being too full, I'm going to my mom's on Friday, or my, well, my parents. Um, and my mom is making ribs. Oh man, I'm excited. I hope there's baked potatoes also. Go! Okay, now we're up. Are you. Dog, are you kidding me? Remember when we were on the other side of this cage and you were like, yeah, I, I smell a thing, let's go. Go. Oh, look at that. Clothespin. So you actually do have to be close to it? What? Go. Hang on. Now that we're in this magical place, 
Ew, potatoes. You don't like baked potatoes? Oh, geez, I'm dropping frames. You don't like baked potatoes? Go. Okay. What was I just seeking? What were we what were we just doing? I don't need this lollipop. Was it biscuit? I think it was biscuit. No, because I just found a clothespin. Alright, let's look at biscuit again. Okay. You only like french fries and chips? I mean, that's fine. French fries and chips are great, too. Tater tots, sure. But I'm, I'm all about baked potatoes. I, I will take a baked potato over uh, Go. over other things, over french fries. How are you, lovely Kai? Good to see you. It's almost bumping enough for trivia in here. Go, 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 go. Nah! Uh, okay. Anything else? Oh, jeez. The trail never ends. There's too many hidden items. Why do I need so many clothespins? They don't do anything! Except find me marbles, which find me white chocolate. What the hell is that? Aries? This is what I need. This is what I'm looking for. This is why we need to be very... I'm dropping frames again. Hang on. Let's take a look. All right, it seems like we're doing fine. This is why we need to be very, very thorough in our, our finding things. Because I don't know what the hell this is. But we, we need it. We, we need to find this stuff to get the good ending, I'm sure. An old record. Song title, Aries. Oh, geez. Frames are dropping like crazy right now. Okay, find it. Go. No! Oh, now I've got two things in my inventory that are like super I don't know. I wish I knew a little bit more about what the dog's range is exactly. Because it seems like he just magically started finding things again after he was not finding anything for a little bit. What the hell is that? 
Just candy? Just candy. Oh, and that doesn't, oh my gosh. Okay, so candy marble drumstick, we don't need clothespins anymore. I don't think, right? I want the marbles because they find good stuff, but all right. Candy, what do you got for me? Marble. Man, I could go for some nachos. I haven't had nacho cheese in a really long time. Go. I used to eat nachos all the time uh, in high school. I, well, like, I'm a really picky eater and I didn't like any of the lunches that the school made. Um, but uh, there was like this a la carte area where you could get you could get extremely marked up ramen or um, or nachos and I pretty much went there all the time to Sam's Club, bought a huge can of nacho cheese and a big box with big old bags of tortilla chips. Nice. Um, we usually get bags of tortilla chips and then Taco Bell mild sauce or hot sauce and uh, and uh, and shredded cheese and and make chips and cheese in the toaster oven. And I get mild sauce because the hot sauce has little chunks of gross stuff in it that I don't like. While the mild sauce is just smooth and delicious tasting. One of these days, we're going to find the key to that diary. Go. 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 Okay, I'm really excited that we found that record. What the hell is that? Spring? See, now we're getting weird shit, and that's what I need. This is what I need to see. Spring perfume, the fragrance of budding trees and flowers. This is the kind of shit that I need to find. Weird shit that will later link to things that will eventually get me the good ending. That's why I'm doing this kind of boring thing where I'm just following around the dog while it finds me every little thing. Why the airship is just full of a bunch of marbles and clothespins for me to find though? Well, I don't know, that part's kind of annoying. But yeah, we're very, wow, I dropped a lot of frames. I might have to restart the stream. 
due to technical difficulties. Because OBS is just going all wonky wobbly with its with its download rate. Maybe Nicole is downloading a game on Steam. All right, we are going to find Peter in just a minute, but for the current minute, uh, ooh, I need to. Um, I'm gonna go get a Soylent. I hate doing this, but I need to restart the stream because it's dropping frames. It's uh, we're dropping a shitload of frames, so um, I uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be back in 30 seconds, uh, but the stream's gonna go down for 30 seconds because uh, we're dropping frames. So be right back. Yeah, there we go.